Hi, welcome to our webpage. My name is Bertram, the director of the Brisbane Headache and Migraine Clinic. Now, your headache clinician may have directed you to this page to find out more about your diagnosis. And today, we will be talking about migraine headaches. Now, migraine is ranked the top three most prevalent disorder in the world and the seventh highest disability worldwide. Now, according to the International Headache Society, a migraine attack usually occurs on one side of the head, although the side may change from episode to episode. And the pain intensity can range from moderate to severe, with it being described as a pulsating or throbbing type pain. It can also cause other things such as nausea and vomiting, as well as being sensitive to light, sound and smell during an attack. Now, migraines can last anywhere between four hours to three days and can leave those disabled and bedridden during an attack. And migraines are differentiated into two main types depending on the presence of, or absence of a symptom called aura. So, migraine with aura. In so many sufferers, migraines can also be accompanied by aura. So, the term aura is used to describe gradual development of neurological symptoms, which can precede a migraine attack, and it can last anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes before the main attack. Symptoms may include, um, such as altered vision with flickering lights, or dark white spots in the vision, or you can even see lines or waves, or in some cases, you can lose temporary um, loss of vision. Uh, sensory symptoms such as burning or prickling sensations on the skin or even loss of sensation whereby you may even feel um, no sensations in your skin at all. You may also even have speech disturbances as well. So for those that suffer from these symptoms described, um, then they would be classified as migraine with aura. And for those that don't, they will be classified as migraine without aura. So, what is the cause of migraines? So the traditional, though outdated, theory of migraines and how migraines occur was originally thought to be dilatation of the blood vessels, which basically is relaxation and expansion of the blood vessels that allows for increased blood flow inside the head to cause an increased blood flow to the head. So this old theory was thought to be interpreted as damaging and therefore in the form of a migraine-like pain. This theory has, however, been debunked in more recent research as the changes in blood flow are insignificant and minimal and considered unrealistic to apply the symptoms of migraine with such a small change in blood flow. So hence, the old theory of migraines being vascular issues has been proven false. So then what is the cause? Recent discoveries within recent research has found the primary contributing factor to be related to the neck and predominantly a fault in the upper cervical spine resulting in a sensitized brainstem. A sensitized brainstem and more importantly a sensitized trigeminal cervical nucleus has been shown to be the cause in pain reproduction in the head. So this indicates now that migraines are due to a neurological disorder rather than a vascular disorder. And clinicians around the world are now pointing to the neck as a cause of migraines and, and are now treating the cervical spine rather than prescribing medications. So what have you tried um, to help with your migraines? Now you may have tried countless amounts of medications to assist with your migraines. Some medications can have great results, and some others may not have any effect. So the question you need to ask yourself is, are medications treating the cause of your problems, or only masking the pain? And the answer is, medications usually only mask the pain by treating symptoms, rather than treating the cause of the problem. Now many sufferers have also trialled many treatment modalities such as hormonal replacement therapies, physiotherapy, chiropractor, acupuncture, massage, alternating the diets, um, even injections to the neck scalp or surgery to the neck, um, or even radiofrequency or cauterization of the nerves. And despite their efforts, they may still live a life filled with migraines. 
Now, modern medicine continues to improve and new literature continues to grow. And unfortunately, this means that no one can really keep up to date with the latest research. And many practitioners rely on the outdated medical model on how to treat headaches and migraines. Now, here at the Brisbane Headache and Migraine Clinic, we are experts in treating migraines. Therefore, we continue to have a team who keeps up to date with the most recent research and applying the most effective treatments in our patients. And we have seen many with chronic migraines and we also use the world-class treatment in assessing and treating the neck. A thorough, examination, a thorough examination of the upper cervical spine is initiated to determine the severity of your sensitized brainstem. And our unique assessment procedure will determine the cause of your migraines and identify whether your migraines are due to a sensitized brainstem. And if deemed appropriate and treatment commences, we will then expect a significant improvement to occur rapidly in 90% of our patients with migraines within the first five treatment consultations. Now, we're not in business of giving false hope. If we don't think our treatments can help you, we will let you know um, after the initial consultation. Our treatment is effective in alleviating or dramatically reducing migraines in 85-90% to of sufferers. My name is Bertrand Dirk and hopefully this video gives you more insight about migraines. And we look forward to seeing you and hopefully helping with your migraines. Thank you.